Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, it's another episode of Random Review Wednesday. Random Review Wednesday. So, I don't have a ton here to talk about, but I have been wanting to compare lip oils forever. And then I have two fragrances that I just don't feel like I need separate videos for. So it's going to be relatively, unless I get to talk, talk, talking, should be a relatively quick video. Um, just, you know, giving my thoughts on some of these products that I have been using in my collection. So I believe on my last Friday haul, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it above. Check it out. I hauled some body washes, which y'all know I didn't need them. But I wanted to give you an update on them because, I don't know, I just, I have some thoughts. So the first one I purchased was the Dove Gentle Exfoliating Sea Minerals Body Wash. Now, I have never used the original formulation because I've heard from different people um, in my comments and other comments when I was deciding if I wanted to get this because Chloe Yasmin said that it changed and she didn't like it. But I just started using the exfoliating soap and I love it. So I wanted to try the matching body wash. Now, the exfoliating soap is very, it's got, it's a very powdery smelling soap. But it doesn't smell like baby powder. It just smells powdery and nice and pretty and clean. But I just love the way that bar of soap smells. So I was hoping that the shower gel, the body wash, would smell the same. Because I've heard people say, Chloe asked me before it changed, I believe she said it was like a powdery smelling body wash. Now, it still, to me, has some of that powderiness but it's not as pretty as the bar of soap at all because i had to use it in the shower to make sure now exfoliating it is it's gentle like i've I mentioned in another video you know they're micro in the drugstore exfoliating body washes the ones i've used they're like micro exfoliants that they do a little bit but not a ton and this fits that category i wasn't purchasing purchasing this body wash because oh it's exfoliating i was purchasing it for the fragrance that's what i was hoping to match it with the bar the dove exfoliating bar soap and i will say it was a letdown in that aspect um because it <sighs> I don't know if the one before this had sea minerals because it does have that kind of smell to it with some of the powderiness with, of course, the Dove DNA. So it doesn't smell bad. But if you were watching that video, like if I, I thought to myself, if I was watching that haul video and I was listening to me, I would want to know, well, after you use it in the shower, did it smell like the bar of soap? You know, is it that good? Because I love the bar of soap. And no, it's not. It's not. In my opinion, if you were going for a gentle exfoliating everyday body wash, I would choose the Olay one over this Dove one because it smells better. <laughs> so, I like this. I'm not like heartbroken, disappointed in it because it's just not that serious. But will i do i think i want to repurchase this at this time no i mean it's nothing wrong with it but i was purchasing it specifically for the scent and it does not match the scent of the bar soap so it's it's a nice body wash you know i love dove i can't it's nothing wrong with the body wash it's just not the fragrance i was hoping for so i'm leaning towards i don't want to repurchase this now i will say Let's say I'm in one of the discount stores and I see the old packaging of this and it hasn't been used or tampered with. I would definitely purchase that version because if it smells like the soap, oh my goodness, perfection. So this is a nice body wash. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not the fragrance I was hoping for. Okay, so the other body wash I purchased is the Cremo body wash in silver water and birch it says a clean crisp 
scent with notes of forest moss, lavender, and white birch. And this is a men's body wash. The Cremo line, I believe, is for men. Uh, the only thing I've used before from this line, this brand, was uh, shaving cream years ago uh, when it was all the rage. So, yeah, I, I don't... I don't know much about this line because I think it's predominantly a men's line. And then they have some, some shaving cream, I think, for women too. So here's the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. This body wash is more on the pricier side. It's $9.99, so it's $10. And, but you, you do get 16 fluid ounces, but I wanted to mention it. Okay, so the reason why I bought this body wash, like I mentioned in my haul video, is because a few people I watch said that, oh my goodness, this was a dupe for Byredo's Gypsy Water. And I've never smelled Gypsy Water. It's not convenient for me to go and sniff Gypsy Water. So I said, okay, I'm going to try this body wash and see if I love it. Okay, so I've tried this a few times, even though it might not look like I've used it. I've used this a few times. Now, <laughs> this body wash, okay, some people I watched were like, okay, um, this body wash, silver water and birch is not masculine. It's just unisex down the middle. In my opinion, after using it in the shower, I don't think that. I think this is unisex leaning masculine. Now, I don't love this at all. I'm not even sure if I'm going to keep this or get, or am I just going to give it to one of my brothers or my nephew or somebody because it's more masculine smelling to me. It is refreshing. I mean, the formulation, 10 out of 10, it's nothing wrong with this body wash. I, it's a good body wash. And you talking about the scent lingers on your skin? Because, you know, a lot of body washes, you just enjoy it in the shower, you rinse it off, it's over. This is one lingers. So, when they say a layered scent formulated to a layered scent evolve as you wash, I don't know what all that means, but I take it to mean this kind of lingers. And if you have a routine, a layering routine, this is a good one because it does linger, the scent does linger on my skin. But it's very, it's, see, it's not like I dislike it. I don't dislike it. I just don't know for me because it is so, to me, masculine smelling. And by Rado, I think for the most part is very unisex. So if gypsy water smells like this, then I'm good. Because even though this smells good, this has a minty green scent to it also that you can pick up in men's cologne. It has an earthiness to it. So, uh, silver, what is this? Silver water and birch. This body wash didn't make me go, woo wee, I need gypsy water by Barreto in my life. Because, see, what is that brand? Way, when they did that leave-in conditioner with the Byredo Mojave Ghost scent, that conditioner made me want Mojave Ghost. And that's why I was on my list and then I finally purchased it. Silver water and birch does not make me want gypsy water. It's a good body wash. If you like, I will say this, if you watch the Glam Twins and you like a lot of their products, cause they tend to lean especially Kelsey, towards to me more masculine smelling fragrances, you would love this. If you're more towards like me and, and want to smell for the most, I like to smell feminine. I like to smell womanly. Even if when, the, when I wear unisex fragrance, it's unisex leaning towards clean, fresh, where it's just totally down the middle or unisex leaning feminine. I don't tend to like unisex leaning masculine for me. So 
Like I said, this is a good body wash. It's moisturizing. It lathers well. It feels good. It's scented. The scent lasts. It's just... I don't... I, mm. <laughs> like, I don't dislike it. See, that's the thing. But it's just so masculine to me that I don't think it's for me. Will I keep it? I don't know yet. I'm going to keep using it a few more times. I'm going to try it with different routines because I wasn't trying. I didn't do this with a specific routine. I just was using it so I could review it for you all. So I, I think with a fresh, clean routine, especially for the summer, I think this would be great. So I might hold on to it, but if I keep using it and just feel if it just keeps smelling super masculine to me then i'm gonna give it to one of my brothers or my nephew but yeah i mean it's a good body wash if you like more masculine smelling fragrances then this is one that's good if you want a body wash that lingers on your skin this is a good one so yeah will i try more cremo body washes um uh, probably not I mean, I might look at some of them, but this to me was the least manly sounding one with the notes that I I saw. Because like I said, the Glam Twins love this and I wanted to try. They love these body washes, not just this one. And so I looked at a few and this is one I picked, chose because also it, it makes me think of a Creed perfume that Rosie, I can't think of her name, Rosita Applebaum or something. I used to watch her way back in the day all the time and it's a creed perfume something water and i thought well maybe this kind of smell like that too and you know creed is way it's not in my future anytime soon anytime soon for that amount of money so based off of the way this body wash smells and the reason why i bought it I thought about that Creed fragrance, which I can't think of the name of it. And I thought about Gypsy Water from Byredo, especially because that's what it was compared to. I'm good on the Gypsy Water for now. We'll see if, if it changes once I come up with a certain routine. But I'm good on Gypsy Water for now. And um, I'm good on Cremo body washes for now. But if you all have Gypsy Water in your collection and you've smelled this, will you let me know is this a straight up dupe for gypsy water? I really am curious. Y'all help me out. Tell me in the comments, okay? Okay, y'all. So now we're going to talk about lip oils, okay? So I have, let me, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six different brands here of lip oils in my collection. And I just wanted to... It's a lip oil craze going on right now, okay? Dior blew up. And then, of course, when something is popular, other brands are going to create them. And so I wanted to tell you my thoughts on some very, I believe, popular lip oils. Now, I don't have the Selena Gomez lip oil. They are still sold out online. They're sold out in stores. I cannot get my hands on one of those doggone lip oils. So I hate that. But that looks more to me, it doesn't look like these. Like so these lip oils kind of all look the same in the packaging aspect, the, the, the formulation. That one to me look more maybe lip glossy in the packaging so i just wish i had it but i'll just have to talk about that on another video whenever i can finally get my hands on one of them so i'm going to start with with the lip oil that i think started it all and that is the dior lip oils i have talked about these i don't know as you can see this one is rosewood i've mentioned this i don't know how many times this is my favorite as you can see well used well loved this rosewood lip oil was the one this was the only one you could find in stock at one time and i thought well maybe that's the re you know it's not even good if it's the only one you can find why is this one always in stock you know that's how i think it was rosewood and mahogany those were the two that were always in stock 
and I didn't I didn't want to I didn't I was like well, something must be wrong with them and then one day I said I'm sick of waiting on on these other colors just let me see if I even like it so I ordered rosewood and fell in love okay so this is the applicator this is a thick lip oil and the reason why i'm not putting these on my lips is because y'all these take time for all these lip oils in my opinion the color to get the stain unless it's just clear it it takes time and i, I you know i'm not a makeup channel and i don't know all that you have to do i i really i just don't have time in my life right now to do all that work is kicking my it, it's it's wearing me out <laughs> So I can't just, I, I don't have the equipment or any of that to just, you know, take my time, show you, re hold it, remember, link it together in a video. I can't do that. But I have worn this, I don't know how many times in videos, especially when I'm not wearing makeup. That's when I love to throw on a lip oil. The first time I used this rosewood lip oil, I put it on my lips at my vanity and then i went in my bathroom to do my hair and i looked at my lips and i was like my lips look gorgeous that my lips looked so pretty with this lip oil these lip oils when i bought them i think were 34 or 36 they're now 40 dollars, so they're very expensive they were expensive in the 30s so now it's an even 40 very expensive very expensive I have all the colors except clear because I was like, what do I need clear for? So I didn't get clear. Are they, they're worth it to me? You don't need all these colors. You don't. It's just that when I fall in love with something, I like to get all, I like to get everyone they offer. And that's a bad habit of mine. But that is how I, I do that. But I will say, I don't regret purchasing all of them because I love them. Now, these to me, the Dior lip oils, they're not just clear, unless you get the clear. You put this on, it does give a slight tint, and depending on what color you use, it's how much it's gonna show up on your lips. This is thick, it can be a little goopy, but you know, you just do the trick you do with lipstick and you're fine. To me, this is long lasting. I like to put on two layers. I like to put on a layer, let it sit for a minute, put on another layer, and this will last me. I want, if I'm not just talking, 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 drinking, drinking, eating, eating, you know, all that nonstop, this will last me the glossy, pouty, fullness, prettiness, I would say for a good two hours. And then you'll get a light stain and your lips will still feel good and it's still there to where you don't feel the glossiness will leave but it'll look more like t today i have on poppy um summer friday's lip balm in this video and this is my second video i'm filming uh today and i can tell that the glossiness has left but my it's still there the product is still there my lips still feel good and there's a slight tint that's what you'll get with this lip oil i love the dior lip oils are they expensive yes are they overpriced i'm still gonna say yes because it's 40 dollars, and i mean it's good and i love them but that is steep but it is dior so you're paying for the packaging you're paying for the name but i will say in my opinion the product in the packaging i love as you can see i love them okay so let's go from $40 to $9. And this is the NYX Fat Oil Lip Drip. So I have this one in Follow Back. And this is the only one, because I didn't want to get a bunch of these. I wanted to get them to compare to Dior because people are saying they're similar to Dior. So I couldn't get the other pink one I wanted with shimmer because I didn't have any lip oils with shimmer. So I wanted this goldy one with shimmer. Now this packaging, I don't love, but that's because I don't love green. I mean, this packaging reminds me of another lip oil I'm gonna show you, but it's not, it's not gonna deter me from getting these just because I don't love the packaging. So let me show you the Joe Foot applicator on this. It is very similar 
to Dior. Very similar, wide, easy application, doe foot applicator. Okay, so this NYX lip oil, it's good. It's nice. To me, the formulation is not a dupe for Dior because Dior is thick. It sticks. It stays to me. The NYX lip oil is thinner. I have to apply more layers to get to to get the color. This is two layers because I just want two layers to help the glossiness last longer. You can get away with one layer of this and my lips look beautiful. This I felt like I had to put on three layers to get to where I could see the lip oil, the shimmers, the gold beautifulness of this lip oil because it is very pretty. Um. So. <sighs> It's not as good to me as Dior, the formulation. But if you're looking at, I want a nice lip oil, I want one that shows up, you might not like a thicker formulation because some people don't like how thick these Dior lip oils are. I prefer that for a lip oil. This is thinner, you have to apply more layers. But once you do, it's, it, the color looks good. I will say this did not, this lip oil did not last. Like I said, I can get four hours of this. Four hours where my lips to me still feel and look pretty and I don't feel like I need to apply it again unless I just want some glossiness. I felt like this lasted, this next one, I don't know if I got a good two hours out of this. And that was me at work at work where I'm talking a lot in the morning. I'm helping people. I'm doing things. I'm talking all in the morning. And I this lasted with me doing that perfectly, the Dior. The NYX did not. I felt like I got an hour, maybe an hour and a half to where I felt like this kind of disappeared. I still had the stain. Like I said, these stain. I still had the stain, but my lips didn't feel comfortable. You know, you get that dry feeling. I was getting that dry feeling with the NYX lip oil. But I will say, these are $9.50 at Ulta. I think you can get them for a little bit cheaper at Target. Maybe they're $9. I'm not sure, but they're under $10. They're under $10. This is 40. So, I'm, I'm not going to say that the NYX is a dupe to Dior and just as good. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna say that. But I will say, you can go get, uh, you know, four of these for the price of one of these. So you just have to look at your budget and what you like to spend money on. I'm a lip product junkie. My favorite thing to purchase since my mom allowed me to wear makeup has always been lip products. I've always been a lip product girl, especially lip gloss and now lip oils. That's just my thing. So for me, it was still steep. And I, you know, I bought all of them over a period of time, but I don't regret it. And the NYX, it's, it's a good alternative. If you are the type, I'm not paying $40 for no lip oil, definitely try the NYX because they are good. They are good. And I plan to get a couple of more of the colors I don't feel like I have in my collection, especially the shimmer colors because it's very pretty. I love this lip oil. But I will say, I'm going to keep saying it. I don't think the NYX is a dupe in the sense of, to me, a dupe is it's the same formulation. They feel the same. They perform the same. So the NYX lip oil is not a dupe to me because it's not the same formulation as Dior. It doesn't perform as well as Dior. And it's not exactly the same as Dior. It's just a more affordable, nice lip oil to use instead of the highly expensive Dior lip oil. Okay, the other lip oil that was very popular was the Fenty Skin Cherry Treat Conditioning Lip Oil. So this is the one, the reason why I didn't get the clear. Here's the applicator for the Fenty. I did not get the clear 
Oh, and it does smell good. It does smell like cherries. Now, I didn't get the clear lip oil from Dior because this is clear to me. This cherry lip oil from Fenty, I don't on my lips feel like I get a tint, cherry tint, anything. And I can't remember if it was advertised as a tint. I don't think so. So this is the one I use. You can just use this whenever. Again, I don't think this Fenty lip oil tops Dior. I just don't. I didn't feel like it lasted as long as Dior. I didn't feel like it made my lips look as pretty as the Dior, especially this rosewood. And I didn't feel like it performed as well as the Dior lip oil. This, I, be I believe, it's, it's been a minute, y'all. I purchased this during the winter Sephora sale last year. I think this is $18, unless they've gone up with inflation. But when I purchased it, I believe it was 18. I believe it was 18. So I like this one. This is one I just throw on again when I'm not doing anything. I'm not going anywhere. I just want a nice gloss lip oil on my lips. My lips feel good. They look good. It's clear, you know, just hanging because it doesn't give a tint. It's clear and it smells good. So this is one. I like it. I don't love it. Like if Fenty came out with, let's say, another lip oil, I wouldn't be rushing to try to get it. I wouldn't. Unless they came out with tints and they say, oh, it's a tinted lip oil, I would try it then. But if it's just another one clear, just with like a different, uh, let's say it came out with a strawberry one or something, no. Now if it came out with a watermelon, maybe. But <laughs> this Fenty lip oil didn't make me be like, oh my goodness, Fenty, come out with more. It did not so I like it it's uh, cheaper than a Dior and it's a good one if you just want a good clear good smelling lip oil I'm trying to go in order of when I purchase these except for this NYX because I wanted to compare it because that's the one that is the most affordable okay this next lip oil I was super excited to try because I think I saw Leah Janae put this on her lips and it was stunning this is house labs uh, PhD hybrid lip oil tint. So this is the lip oil Lady Gaga's brand that is supposed to adjust to the pink. Well, no, give you your uh, own shade of pink lips to your PhD level. And here's the applicator. I don't love this applicator. I think this is the smallest applicator of all of them. This doesn't have a scent. Um, I was I didn't I didn't love this lip oil at all. I mean, as you can see, this is the only one I have from this brand. I have no interest in getting any more. Um, it was a nice average basic lip oil. I didn't feel like it lasted really long on my lips at all. I didn't feel like it made my lips look super pretty or anything. These PhD what is it? It's not PhD. Well, yeah, it is. <laughs> lip oils that's supposed to give you your perfect pink i never ever ever like the pink it's only one in here that i'm going to show you that even the dior one i don't love the pink because it'll start out as a as a light pink but as you keep applying it it gets darker and darker and darker and i don't like that so this is the formulation this was for the house labs to me it was thin it just it didn't stand out to me it did not stand out to me at all. I believe this is $20-some dollars. I can't remember the exact price. But I don't recommend the House Labs lip oils. I just don't. I never even think of this one. When I want to use a lip oil, this one never crosses my mind at all. So those are my thoughts on the House Lab lip oil. The next lip oil I'm going to show you, this was recommended to me from one of my subscribers. And what is this brand? This is the In Beauty Lab lip oils. And I purchased this kit during the Sephora Spring Sales event. And these, this is the packaging that reminds me of the NYX. And the formulation, this formulation is similar to me to the NYX also. This is a thinner formulation. Um, 
here is the applicator i love a wide applicator for these lip oils this is the one that's supposed to adjust to your um ph levels and give you your perfect pink this lip oil mystery glaze now this is the lip oil that's supposed to adjust to you know give you your own specialized pink this is the one i like the best i did now the formulation of this is a bit thin but like i said i just like thick cushiony lip oils this was thin that if i wanted to apply and these smell really good they smell you think of that lip gloss smell as a teenager you know when you just got into makeup or you went to the beauty shop and you got the lip oils or that clear gloss you could put on and roll on that's what these smell like these smell really good so it's a thinner formulation um and this will move like i had to look and i'll be like oh my goodness is the gloss is down here so i have to you know make sure that it stays put but i do really like these glosses and the color they told me to get was candy apple and this is kind of it made my lips kind of a reddish color but not to where i disliked it yeah these smell so reminiscent of the beauty shop those just you know those cheap glosses you could get but they smell so good that's what these smell like now i believe these are like 24 dollars the they're 24 or 25 because i was blown away with this deal when i got two for i think 24 or 25 so i really do like these gloss these lip oils they are thinner i felt they still now in comparison to dior because that's what we're comparing these two because i believe this dior lip oil started this trend of every brand got to come out with a lip oil so i don't think they're better than than dior but i will say these are ones that if i i would repurchase i would look and see if they have other colors because they still do leave a stain the gloss stayed about two hours where it was still glossy with these and then you know you got your stain my lips still felt good they didn't feel dried out as it did with the next one and maybe this is because it's a shimmer maybe i need to try one without shimmer to you know really compare it also but i do love these in beauty um lip oils i really do they're good but still don't trump dior in my book Okay, so the last lip oil we're going to talk about is the Clarins Lip Oil. And I have the shade 04 Patea. And this is how. Now, these are $28. I do like the packaging on uh, the Clarins also. To me, Dior looks the best, though. That's the doe foot applicator. It's nice and wide. This smells really good, too. Now, the best smelling lip oils are the Fenty and the In Beauty. Uh, let me see. I can't remember. Does NYX have a smell? Yeah, these just smell all right. But they don't smell bad, but they just smell kind of sweet. But the best smelling ones are these and the Clarence. Smell so good. Now, this is the lip oil I was wearing in my Friday haul. So if y'all want to see how this looks on my lips, check that video out. This lip oil, when I put it on and I applied it at my vanity, and you know, the lighting is different in my bathroom because I do my makeup and then I do my hair the last thing, take it out, style it before I go. I had put this on and I looked in the mirror and I was blown away. I was like, this looks stunning. And I had not had that reaction to a lip oil since the Dior rosewood and i was so impressed it was so light and pretty and pink and pouty beautiful like that smoothing line smoothing plumpy effect that i felt like i got with dior now this formula is still thinner than dior but it didn't travel you know like i felt like uh these in oh why do i keep giving you this name in beauty lab lip oils did i didn't feel like it traveled i felt like i had to make sure though like if you put too much it would bleed 
but not as badly as these because the formula wasn't as thin. This is good. I want more of these. That's how I know I love something. I want more Clarence lip oils. In fact, I'm, I'm thinking they might be on the level of Dior where I want them all because the color payoff of this one, this is the only one I've tried, stunning, stunning color payoff. And, the, and it lasted, now, hmm, I'm trying to think of when I wore this. I think this gave me about two hours too before I felt like the glossiness left, but my lips were still comfortable. I didn't, I didn't even reapply this because it gave a stain and it didn't, my lips felt like they felt good. They felt comfortable. They felt fine. Like I didn't have to reapply this just like the Dior unless I wanted more of the glossiness. So this clearance to me in the way my lips felt and looked is the closest to Dior. Does it trump Dior for me? I'm still gonna say no, because I love the formulation of the Dior. I love that, that thickness of the lip oil. I do, that's my preference. But this one, I will be getting more of these because it's good, good. The only thing I don't love, but like I told y'all in a few videos back, my lips never look as good as when I first apply them. You know, you reapply a lip. To me, they my lips never look as good as when I first put on, apply whatever I'm wearing on my lips in the morning or whenever I first apply when I'm going anywhere. They just don't when I touch up. And the only downside of this color, I felt like it kept getting darker when I would put more on. It would get darker. And it seems like the when I reapply my lip products, it's like my lips drink up the um, product. And they don't last as long. Like the first time I apply this, the shine and everything can last two to four hours. When I touch up, no, no, honey, I don't get that this i don't get that any lip product i don't get that and i don't know why that just drives me crazy but yeah clarence to me is the closest to dior it's cheaper too it's 28 bucks so it's cheaper than 40. so this clarence is the like i keep saying it's the closest to dior but nothing trump dior for me if i had to pick my top three it would be it would be the um in 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 beauty labs i don't i keep wanting to say inner beauty is it yeah the in beauty lab lip oils coming in at number three clarence coming in at number two and dior at number one and i'm gonna have the NYX lip oils in the category of their own because they're the most affordable. So in the affordable category, this would be number one because they are good. I am good. And they did make me want to try more of them because I was like, whoa, this color payoff is really good. So they still, even though it's not in my top three, this is going to be my honorable mention because they're good. They're affordable. When they're in stock, it's easy access to get them. And I do want more of them. So y'all, I finally talked about these lip oils. I've been wanting to talk about those forever and a day. But now we're gonna move on to the last two products I want to talk about in this Random Review Wednesday, and those are some fragrances I recently purchased. So the first one, I was so excited to get it. I, was, I couldn't wait to tell y'all, and that is the Skylar Boardwalk Delight Perfume. As you can see, there is already a pretty nice dent in this fragrance. Now, Boardwalk Delight was released in 2022. It has top notes of watery notes, apple, red and raspberry, middle notes of coconut milk, water lily, and guava blossom, base notes of cotton candy, musk, vanilla, solar notes, and amber. This to me smells so good. If you like Boardwalk Taffy from Bath and Body Works, if you like Pink Sugar, if you like 
uh, Truly's Unicorn Fruit. Um, what else? If you like love, don't be shy. If you like magnetic candy, I think you would like this perfume. Oh, it's soft. It's gourmand. It, that coconut milk, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm worried about it. This to me, think of cloud. Ariana Grande's Cloud. I call that like a transparent kind of fragrance DNA. I get that same vibe with Boardwalk Delight. I spray myself down with this because it's very soft and it's a cl it's clean and sometimes clean fragrances. Some may not last as well as others. But I sprayed myself down with this. I sprayed my clothes down with this. I wore this with Boardwalk Taffy and I was in cotton candy heaven, but not overwhelmingly so because it is, it's a transparent kind of translucent cotton candy, sweet coconut, milky, fruity type of fragrance that smells delightful. Again, think of, not that they smell alike, but think of Kayali's Passacio 33. That to me is a perfect spring summer gourmand. It is not heavy. It is not, it won't get cloying on you. That's what this is. If pink sugar is too much for you, if love don't be shy is too much for you in the warmer weather, look no further. Boardwalk Delight is stunning. It is stunning. It is beautiful. It's soft. It's airy. Like I said, translucent. It's just good. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. And I'm going to go back. If you like Boardwalk Taffy from Bath and Body Works and you want it in a perfume version with a little more creaminess, a little coconut in there, just it's just very pretty, very easy to wear. I can't imagine this getting cloying on anyone. And you smell softly sweet, especially layered with Boardwalk Taffy. That was my combo. You just smell edible, but not too much. Sweet, flirty, girly candy. I love this. If they had this in the 3.4, 3.3 ounce, 100 ml bottle, I would get it. But it's only available in the 50 ml. I love this. I don't regret getting this at all. I love it. As again, I said, look at the den. I have, I think, I don't even think I've had this a full week. Love me some Boardwalk Delight. You can order it from Skylar's website or you can order it from Sephora. I think, oh, every video, y'all. I think it at this time, this perfume is an online exclusive only. So they say, it's Sephora. I think that's what I saw. So I hope I described it for you, gave you enough comparisons because you can't go anywhere and smell this. You can either buy the Rollerball, which I didn't. I waited over a year to get my hands on this because I didn't want a rollerball. Well, I lie. I finally gave in and said, fine, I'll get the rollerball since y'all tripping and not bringing out the full size. But then it was sold out. And then I said, you know, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait because I'm not about to hunt down no rollerball. So this fragrance, you cannot just go smell in store right now, but it's a very simple fragrance, simple DNA, but stunning, stunning. Again, love it, love it, love it, Boardwalk Delight. It did at, um, last for me, it lasted six to eight hours because I sprayed down heavy. It was soft. I think it had moderate projection, moderate sillage, but I could smell myself and I enjoyed smelling myself with that combination. I mean, I loved it, loved it. So the last fragrance we're going to talk about and the last product we're going to talk about today is this Love's Baby Soft Whisper Soft Mist. Y'all, I had never heard of this. I had, I was just perusing the website, uh, the Walmart website. I put in fragrance and this popped up and I said, what is this? And I read the notes and I said, oh, okay. 
So I looked at, up this fragrance, Eau Fragrantica, and they didn't have the breakdown, top, middle notes, or any of that. But this fragrance is described as a floral fragrance. It was created in 1974, honey, way before I was born. It has notes of musk, lavender, vanilla, rose, geranium, and patchouli. So, when I first smelled this, I didn't know when it was made. I read some comments, but until I um, looked on Fragrantica, I saw, okay, 1974. When I first smelled this, I felt like, before knowing when it was made, I felt like it smelled a little vintage. But that's not bad. Because there's some fragrances to me that can smell outdated. And when I think it smells outdated, I use that term. Because vintage to me doesn't to me smell outdated. It just doesn't smell like something. I The definition of vintage when I use it, when I'm describing a fragrance. When I say it smells vintage, I mean it smells like something you wouldn't smell today. They, they don't release fragrances like this today, but it still smells good enough to wear today. It doesn't smell out of place. That's how I use the term vintage when I talk about fragrances. And when I smelled this, I said, this smells vintage to me. I wonder when it was made. It does smell, it, it reminds me of a mixture of powdery, floral musky and then think of the the uh what is it called the baby oil in with the pink top the original baby oil scent the johnson and johnson the, the the pink top on it it gives me that type of scent dna now i loved it i was like okay i am enjoying this so i spray myself down i spray my clothes down on my skin this lasted two to four hours and i don't think this i don't know if this is a cologne it says a mist but i don't think it's a body mist so i'm going to say cologne think of what did my grandmother used to wear jenna tay jenna something that you can you can still get it it's in that big bottle and it's like a splash that's kind of what this reminds me of not they don't smell alike but that's the I don't think this is a perfume, but I don't think this is a body mist. It kind of made me think of that, what my grandmother loved, that, that splash you could put on. Jenna Tay, I think I'm saying it right. So, it didn't last long on my skin. Now, on my clothes, oh my goodness, I don't know if this mixed with my, the, you know, what I use to make my clothes smell good when I do my laundry, but woo wee, it smelled really good on my clothes. Now, it smelled really good on me too. Like I said, a powdery, musky, with hints of floral fragrance, but it just didn't last long. I mean, at all. So, this is to me, I, I remember reading some comments that were like, yeah, this is good for bedtime. This is good for bedtime. If you're one that wants to uh, spray something on and it doesn't smell like baby powder, because I know people do not like that scent, even though I, I don't mind it, but it has a powderiness to it that is comparable to me to a baby powder scent. I mean, it's called Love's Baby Salt. It's a very soft, very powdery, very feminine, musky, fragrance now would i wear this on its own out and about heck no because it's not gonna last it's not gonna last i mean it it didn't last strongly on my skin for two hours in my opinion to where i could easily smell it i say two to four because i could put my nose up to my arm and i could smell it i was really smelling it on my clothes so I would recommend, if you like the way I described how this smell, if you love powdery scents, if you love baby powder scents, if you love the Johnson & Johnson, the pink line, it kind of is it, in that category. But a little more elevated, I would say. I would get this to later. I would get, this was $15. It was like $14.98, $15. I would get this to use on the days that I did not want to smell like 
a heavy, wonderful perfume where I just want to smell good and comforting. Like, okay, if I didn't feel good and I was at home and I didn't want, I was gonna do anything, I was gonna have a day where I'm reading or watching movies or something, love this for that. Bedtime, love it for that layering spraying this down on my clothes and then going in with whatever else i'm wearing love this for that spraying my skin down layering with this with another perfume to if i wanted to give it a powdery muskiness love it for that but is it a standalone i'm gonna smell like this all day mist it is not so if you wanted to wear this as you know day to day this is how you want it to smell you would have to bring this with you and you'd be spraying every two hours your skin <laughs> to, to smell it because it does not last but do i regret getting this no it smells so good and i know i'm gonna use it it reminds me of like fresh coconut and cotton i would spray that on my clothes and it mixed with everything because it just made your clothes smell better but it didn't compete with your fragrance this gives me the same vibes but powdery soft musky and i love the way it smells i thoroughly enjoy wearing it i don't regret purchasing this at all so yeah i love me some loves baby soft whisper soft mist i mean it says it right there whisper soft so y'all those are my thoughts on these random products that i wanted to talk about with you all on this episode of a random review wednesday if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below y'all tell me your thoughts on anything i mentioned in the video and also tell me some things you think i might want that you want me to review and if i can i will do it for you please share this video with everybody y'all because we we trying our best to get to 10k for the end of may so share 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 and please don't forget to turn on your notification bells so you ever miss any of my videos and as i always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye